Hey, it's Rachel. And you know, I give a lot of tips for how to handle it when your child is mean or disrespectful to you or they're disrespectful to their siblings or the others around them. But what do you do when your child is disrespectful to themselves? What do you do when they say mean things about themselves like I'm stupid or no one likes me or I have no friends? You know, as frustrated as we get with our children and their behavior, it's incredibly heartbreaking to hear them talk this way about themselves. And so what we usually do to cheer them up or help them feel better or get out of this place of feeling bad about themselves usually makes the situation worse. Usually what we do, let's say they say something like, I'm stupid. What we do to try to cheer them up and try to help solve the problem is we tell them all of the reasons that they're not stupid. We say something like, no, you're so good at video games or you taught that thing to your sister the other day and you did such a good job. We tell them all of the reasons that their feelings of being stupid are wrong. And that doesn't make them all of a sudden go, oh, you're right. No, I'm not stupid. I'm smart. What it makes them think is mom or dad doesn't get it. They just feel misunderstood and often they feel more alone in their feelings. And it makes them less likely to come to us the next time they're feeling really bad about themselves because they think, oh, all they're going to tell me is all of the reasons that I am wrong. So what we usually do makes it worse. So what do we do instead? What you really want to do if your child says something mean about themselves is just listen to them. Just be there for them. You don't have to say very much. If you do have to say something, you might want to say something that shows them that you understand them. So something like, no wonder you're feeling that way right now because the last two tests you took were very hard for you. Now, you are not agreeing with them when you make a statement like that. You're not saying you're right, you're stupid. What you're doing is you're showing them that you understand and that you can handle their feelings. And ultimately, that is what they are looking for. They're not looking for solutions in that very moment. And you probably know this. If you try to solve things when they're still in this place of upset, if you say, okay, well, what should we do to make you feel less stupid? And we say, well, maybe you should study differently. When you tell them solutions in that moment, they are not open to it. They may say things like, I've tried that already or nothing's going to work. But if you can let them talk to you about how they're feeling, if you can stay silent or just show them that you can understand them and that you're there for them and you can handle their feelings, if you stay in that space for a few moments and then, then if you go to the problem solving, then they're going to be more open to maybe what you have to say, or even more, ideally, they're actually able to find solutions for themselves. So if they are feeling stupid at that moment, if you let them just release some of these feelings, then maybe they can come up with a solution for how they can study differently or feel more confident about themselves. The key is to just listen, not try to solve or fix, and definitely not to tell them all of the reasons that they are wrong. So if you have any questions about this, feel free to reach out to me at rachel at rachel-bailey.com or you can always check out my parenting academy at rachelbaileyparentingacademy.com where I give you solutions for raising responsible, resilient kids and solutions for reducing the clutter in your mind and on your calendar so you actually have more time to give your kids what they need. I look forward to seeing you next time.